Welcome to video 18 from the English Cafe Club. Today, very quickly, the past perfect tense explained. Past perfect tense, when you have two simple actions in the simple past. It is not mandatory to use the past perfect tense. You can have two simple actions in the simple past. For instance, on Sunday, I watched TV and I made chicken and chips. Two simple actions in the past. You don't need the past perfect sense to talk in the past. Two actions in the past. When do you use it then? You need the past perfect to clarify which event happened first. Which event happened first? So let's have a rather crazy example. Uh, thanks to my neighbor. My neighbor was telling me that last night she was drinking whiskey and she fed her baby. I was rather shocked because it's unusual for a woman who is feeding a baby to drink whiskey. And she said, no, Ian, don't be so crazy. I am a responsible mother. Now watch this. I had fed the baby before I drank whiskey. I had fed the baby before I drank whiskey. This now tells me that she fed the baby, she put the baby to bed, the baby was sleeping, she came downstairs and said, oh, that was a long day, I need a whiskey. So she drank a whiskey. The I fed the baby, the I had fed the baby, tells me she did that first. We can change the order of the words in the sentence, but it doesn't change anything. For instance, if you can imagine these two phrases reversed, and I put the word after here, and she says, no, Ian, I drank whiskey after I had fed the baby. The had is still in the same part of the sentence which happened first. It's still the action that happened first. I drank whiskey after I had fed the baby. Is that clear? So we only use had for clarification of this event had happened before this event happened. Final word. This word here is the past participle. The past participle. The same with the present perfect. So I had flown, I had seen, I had worshipped, I had gone, I had been. Past participle. Don't forget that. Thank you. Bye-bye.